Hey sis, welcome to part four of our how to start an online business as a Christian entrepreneur series. My name is Stephanie Rodness, founder and CEO of God the Wood Girl, creator of GodTheWoodGirl.com. It's an online resource that connects women of Christ just like you with the resources that you need to step into your God-given purpose as a Christian entrepreneur. So if that's you, definitely check out the website by going to GodTheWoodGirl.com and use discount code YouTube at checkout to take 10% off your entire order. Now, if you're ready to dive into step number four of how to start your own online business as a Christian entrepreneur, grab your pen and paper, let's dive in. So if you've watched the previous videos, you know step one of starting an online business as a Christian entrepreneur was getting your mindset right. <laughs> step number two was identifying the niche or the specific problem that you solve with your business. And step number three was identifying your customer avatar who you actually solve the problem for. So those three steps are actually kind of like the more easy, quicker parts of this process. This step though, that we about to talk about right now, this step is the step that will make or break a business. <laughs> and in this step, we are actually going to build an audience to serve with our business. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Stephanie, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How on earth <laughs> am I supposed to be building an audience before I even have a product? Like you haven't mentioned a product yet. I know, and there's a reason for that because I don't want you building a product yet if you don't have somebody to buy it, right? Most of us as Christian entrepreneurs, especially because we're guessing our way through this process, we reverse the steps. We build a product and then we try to find people to buy it. You know that saying, if you build it, they will come? It's not true as an online entrepreneur. It's just not. <laughs> Instead, you want to have them come first and then you build, the, build it based on what they want. The only way we can do that though is by creating our audience first. And that's what we're gonna do in step four. This is what I call the legend fan funnel, okay? Step number four is to build yourself what I call a legend fan funnel. So what are legend fans? There's this great, great paper that came out a few years ago um, by a online entrepreneur named Kevin Kelly, and he's brilliant, right? And he basically created this theory that any person can make six figures online every single year if they have 1,000 true fans that spend $100 with their business within 12 months. I'm gonna say it again. 1,000 people who spend $100 in your business every single month makes you a six-figure earner per year. I know. <laughs> when I read this article, I was kind of blown away because I'm like, wait a minute, is it really that easy? I just have to find a thousand people to serve with my business and serve them over and over again in a way that they like, and I can actually start making six figures a year. I don't have to beg for a promotion from my boss. I don't have to compete with my coworkers. I can just create my own lane of people that I'm serving and serve them again and again. Yes, sis, that is exactly correct. And that is what a lot of online entrepreneurs do. They build something called an email list and they serve that email list with quality products and services over and over again. And that's what I show you how to do in the God Would Grow School of Business. I call it the Purpose Profit Formula. It's basically how I make money here at God Would Grow and it's how I teach students how to make money inside of their own businesses too. Now, but in order to get to that step though, right, where you're actually able to serve people where they can spend $100 with your business per year, well, you gotta have to find the people first. <laughs> so the Legend Fan Funnel allows you to do that. A Legend Fan Funnel is basically a sales funnel that you create that allows you to identify the customer avatar that you identified in step three, right? This Legend Funnel is built to attract that customer avatar into your sales funnel so you now can receive their email address and serve them quality products and services over and over again. You're welcome. <laughs> now here's how a legend funnel works. If you haven't heard of this term called sales funnels, sales funnels are basically automated online web pages that convert people interested in your business into customers, right? It's automated. There's a, I have a whole um, webinar about sales funnels. Check out the how to make a sales funnel, uh, sorry. Check out the how to start a Christian business online webinar that I teach pretty much every single month at my business. You can find the replay here on YouTube. Um, and it's also part of the Christian Business Toolkit at purposegift.com slash business kit. So any one of those resources, you can find out more detail about sales funnels. But basically it works like this. You create something free, right? A digital product that you give away for free. 
and you give it to somebody online in exchange for their email address. So now, once you have their email address, they're now on your email list, and now you can serve them with those quality products and services. You see how this works? So you need to build your legend funnel. You need to figure out a digital product that you can give to somebody to attract the right customer avatar. Remember in step three, you figured out who your customer avatar is. So this step is all about attracting them onto your email list, get them into your audience so you can serve them. So figure out what the right lead magnet is to attract your customer avatar. Now here at God the Wood Girl, right, my goal is to connect women of Christ with the resources they need to achieve their God-given purpose. So what is the perfect lead magnet? Um, maybe a Christian business toolkit? Yeah. <laughs> that's why that's my lead magnet. Because I don't want to attract women of Christ who don't want to start an online business. While I want those women to absolutely step into their God-given purpose, I think like an entrepreneur. I've always thought like an entrepreneur. So I have a hard time relating to kind of like the nine to five, don't want to work in the evening mindset. So for me, I'm going to have a hard time being able to help that person step into their purpose because I don't relate to it. I kind of don't understand it a little bit. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I'm only attracting women of Christ who want to step into their God-given purpose who are purposed to be Christian entrepreneurs. So the way to do that is to, well, create a Christian business toolkit <laughs> that helps women of Christ step into their purpose as Christian entrepreneurs. So be thinking in terms of what would actually attract my customer avatar. My husband, his, his free lead magnet is a free five minute workout. So he's able to attract people who want to work out because he's giving them a free five minute workout. So think about what you could create to attract that customer avatar. This can be a guide. It can be a checklist. This can be an ebook. This can be a webinar, a masterclass, a downloadable anything you want it to be. I just highly recommend that you make it digital so that it doesn't cost you anything to actually give it to the person for free. And if you want to learn how to create your lead magnet and you create your legend funnel step by step, get into the God that would grow school of business. That's where I show you how to do step by step. I actually have video demonstrations that you can watch me do the step. Take action on your own computer as well. I have downloads, checklists, guides, the whole nine. So if you want my help taking action on this, get into the God that would grow school of business by going to purposelegend.com slash school of business. If you're like, well, Stephanie, I'm not ready yet, but I'm ready to start researching. Grab my free Christian business toolkit by going to purposegift.com slash business kit. It'll give you the five P's of purpose entrepreneurship and help you get started on that journey so you can start researching. And finally, if you're not already subscribed to the God Will Go YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscription button. My goal for this channel is for it to be the number one resource for every woman of faith who wants to live her greatest purpose for Christ as a Christian entrepreneur. So if that's you, hit that subscription button and make sure that you comment down below. I say it until the end so that we can connect and network together on this journey. Now next week, I'll have the fifth step of starting an online business as a Christian entrepreneur. So make sure you have your post notifications turned on because you know, you know, not everybody gets the notifications for these videos, I'm trying to tell you, but <laughs> let me know if you've been enjoying the series so far and God willing, I will see you at God the One Girl. Hey love, thanks so much for watching this video on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and click the subscribe button so you can get brand new videos that God Will Grow releases. My mission with the God Will Grow YouTube channel is for it to empower at least 5 million women of Christ to get unstuck, stop feeling frustrated, and start living God's greatest purpose for their lives. So if you want to join that movement, make sure you click the link below to join me in the God Will Grow School of Purpose, where I literally teach you how to start living God's greatest purpose for your life step by step. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.